guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a mega grocery haul. So if you enjoy watching grocery hauls, Costco hauls, and product reviews, that's what you're gonna find here on my channel. That's pretty much most of the content that I've been posting lately. And honestly, I've just been having a lot of fun sharing what I get when I do my groceries because I used to be one of those people that went into the store and I always kind of like looked to see what other people had in their carts just out of curiosity and I don't really get that opportunity anymore so filming these videos and sharing with you guys is just fulfilling my need to share what I'm getting and also just to kind of start the conversation to see what you guys are getting when you do your groceries as well. So this is sort of like a mega grocery haul since you're getting this week and a previous week that I just never uploaded before. So I'm just going to add that on here at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to remind you guys that if you're new here, it means so much to me if you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I post a lot of Costco hauls, like grocery hauls, and product reviews here on this channel. So if you guys enjoy watching those sort of things, don't forget to subscribe and stick around. That way you don't miss out on the things that I buy in the future. And then for this order, uh, I don't know if I said that in this video or not, but I am a PC Insider member, so I don't have to pay for my grocery pickup. And also I make back points almost for every single order. And today I only made back $5. I spent $120 for all this stuff. And actually for once, I feel like this is actually $120 worth of stuff. Usually it's like overpriced and I feel like I got so little for the amount but this time I feel like I did a pretty good job with the number and the amount of things that I got. Alright so the first thing that I got is two packs of this Wild Pacific Cod Filets. I have never tried this specifically from the store before but as a Jamaican we eat lots of cod. Cod is usually called salt fish and it's salted and dried. This is not salted and dried so I'm just getting it to try it out and see how we like it. We usually like white filet fish and there's usually never any issues. Super easy to cook, super quick, and it takes up every flavor that you can add to it pretty much. So I got two of these for us to try because they were on sale. Then I got our favorite milk of all time. This is 2% grass-fed milk from Rolling Meadow. I actually did a full review on this milk in the past, so I'm just gonna go ahead and link that down below. This actually has not been available for the last month that I have been adding it on my grocery pickup order. I don't know why, it's just so hard to find, but needless to say, it's here now. I'm happy about it. I wish they had given me two because I did ask them to grab me another one, but I guess they were too busy to do that. Anyways, this is our favorite milk of all time. Like I said, you guys should definitely give it a try. Grass-fed dairy is definitely the best option for dairy that you can get, and you should definitely consider switching at least just your milk to grass-fed if you can't commit to yogurts and cheeses and all that stuff because it does get pretty, pretty pricey. Anyways, I also got a coffee creamer. This is the vanilla one. Um, it's the silk almond one. I really like this. I get it pretty much every single grocery haul because I have been loving my iced coffees lately. And then I went ahead and got three things of yogurt. So this is the Activia vanilla. Then we also got the raspberry. And we got the strawberry so in my last grocery haul i picked up granola for my daughter and i forgot to get yogurt so i'm just replenishing this because you can't have yogurt parfait without the yogurt <laughs> and then i got two things of cranberry juice this is the pc brand whenever i buy cranberry juice from the grocery store i always try to get the pc brand because i just get points for it and it actually tastes pretty good another staple for us is always our tropicana no pulp orange juice this is just a weekly thing and then i also decided to get some chorizo sausages so this is also by the PC brand. It's the free from one, which I guess is supposed to have like none of the crappy stuff in there. I've never tried a chorizo from PC. I don't even think I've ever purchased chorizo. I think I've only gone to like a restaurant and it was served to me. So I'm excited to have this and see how this tastes because we love sausage and this is just going to be super easy. And this is perfect for the barbecue as well. So now we're moving into the produce section of the haul and we got two bunches of bananas as always. Uh, I don't know if I said this in my last haul, but we usually try to stick to organic bananas now just because that's just what we prefer. And then we also got another container of peaches. Right now, as long as peaches are in season, it'll always be on our list because we just love it that much. 
and as always we get our organic apples from the grocery store as well and this is just the organic gala apples it's a three pound bag i think yeah it's a three pound bag and they've been doing really good at picking me good produce lately so good job pc express for stepping up your produce game and always giving us really good produce as a plate then we got a bag of purple or red <laughs> grapes i should say and also a bag of cherries right now cherry season is starting off the last time we got cherries they were really good so of course they're on the list again this week then we went ahead and got some easy veggie options for me for dinners because i want to take things super simple this week and i just like buying the package stuff because honestly it just makes life better so this is the kale slaw this is actually not the one that i wanted um but this is a replacement and i'm happy with it because it's just as good the bag looks pretty fresh so that's another good thing and like i said this is the kale slaw by the pc brand again i get points for buying pc and then i also decided to get this vegetable medley bag and it's a big big bag so this is like two dinners for us or maybe one if i roast it all at one time but this is really good for roasting boiling sauteing whatever you want to do it just works and all the work is done for you it has cauliflower broccoli and baby carrots in there and we just like all this stuff so this is just really really good and then i wanted to get some baby spinach i hadn't bought spinach in a while whenever i buy spinach i always like to buy organic this again is the pc brand and this is good in sautés add it into pastas meals you can even use this for your smoothies this is just such a good staple to have for any and everything like so good in smoothies so good in meals everything tastes better when you add a little green in it as a mama because you know everyone's getting their vegetables and my kids happen to love spinach and kale and all these green veggies that most kids don't so when they like something i just run with it and i make sure it's always in rotation then I got two things of the Salted Tops soda crackers. This is by the No Name brand one. This is just great for a snack, you know, when your kids are constantly hungry all the dang time. Crackers and biscuits are just a way to hold them over. Otherwise, dude, they would probably eat us out of the house, you guys. So this is just to stock up. We don't really need this right now, but I got one for now, one for later, just so we don't need to run out of this or pick it up again anytime soon. And then I also wanted to try these k -pasa. Uh, tortilla chips these are organic tortilla chips they should be really good i think it's salted with sea salt the ingredients are pretty okay um, not the best but definitely better than most and yeah i just wanted to try this out i was thinking of making my own nachos with these chips and the chorizo sausage but I don't think I have any shredded cheese, so that's probably not going to work, but needless to say, this is going to be good anyways. Then uh, for the kids, I just wanted to treat them to something that they love, and I got this Oreo mini pack. Six come in the pack, and then I also got a salty treat for them. This is just the Goldfish Rainbow ones. Do your kids like rainbow stuff? I feel like my kids like rainbow things just because it's a rainbow. I feel like it tastes just the same as the regular cheddar ones, but this is more just for fun for the kids. And to make my life easy, I got 100 of these um, plates that will just prevent me from having to do more dishes, although the dishwasher does most of the work for us lately. This is just good for when we want, um, you know, not to dirty a dish that we have to put in the dishwasher later. And we were almost out of our recycling bags so this is in French let me turn it around so yes these are our blue recycling bags 40 come in the bag I always like to get the no name brand one because honestly it's the same thing and it works the same but this is a replacement and I'm not mad at it because sometimes blue recycling bags are really hard to find here in Canada I don't know why maybe people are recycling too much which is a good thing but yeah got that and to go with the chips, I also got some Tostitos um, queso dip. Yeah, it's queso dip. It's a cheese dip. It's a little bit spicy, but we love this. If you warm this up in the microwave, oh my God, it takes things to a whole nother level. So this and this will just go together. And if I want to add the chorizo in there, I definitely can. And this could be a whole little dinner going on with a salad or something and then the girls were out of jelly we always get the grape jelly but mainly one child likes peanut butter and jelly the other one does not so i'm hoping that by trying this one which is the strawberry jelly which is a much smaller bottle than the gray one almost the same price too by the way 
by getting this strawberry jelly, I'm hoping that my uh, other daughter will actually enjoy eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because they're just so easy and so nostalgic. Like if you grew up eating PB&Js, tell me, did you do grape, strawberry, or some other kind of jam? Let me know. And were you a Smuckers person or not? I know that Smuckers isn't really the best for ingredients, but I grew up having Smuckers and I'm sort of like just like sticking to what I know when it comes to jellies and stuff like that. So let me know if you like Smuckers jellies or if you buy a different one, if you have a cleaner one and are you team grape, team strawberry or team something else? <laughs> Comment and let me know. But yeah, that is everything that I got on this haul. Also, you guys, I know some of you guys are wondering why would I just buy two things of jelly if I really just need one. If you are trying something new with your kids, I highly recommend getting the thing that they like and the thing that you want them to try just in case it fails, you're not like S out of luck. <laughs> so the reason why I have the two jellies is because I know that we like the grape one, but I really want to see if they're going to like the strawberry one because I hear the strawberry one is really good and I don't even remember the last time I had strawberry jelly. So that's just my little mom advice for you guys. All right, so we've officially come to the end of this haul. I'm going to go ahead and insert a another little mini haul after this on um All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna share with you guys are these blueberries. They were on sale. It's such a big package for such a good price. I think this was around $5 for this big package. And then I went ahead and got six red mangoes because we love mangoes and these are pretty good sizes. Then I went ahead and picked up six plantains. We just love eating this. It's such a good side for dinner, but some of them are so big and I feel like some of them are not as big I'm just hoping that they're good and then we also got six heads of corn or corn on the cob we've just been loving this a lot lately it's just so easy to make and I hope that these are good as well then I also got three zucchinis uh, these are pretty good sizes they look much better than the last time and then I also got this watermelon I personally like to pick my own watermelon so I have no idea if this is gonna be good and then I got two bunches of kale. Our family absolutely loves kale, so we always buy them in twos. Then I went ahead and picked up some 2% milk. This is a PC organic one. I personally think this milk is okay. It's not the best, but it's what was available. And then I also got some 2% cottage cheese. This is just such a great snack or meal for me sometimes in the mornings along with this coffee creamer and some green tea for my daughters. I always get them the naturally decaffeinated one because they don't need any more caffeine. They're wired enough already, but I need my caffeine. So this is actually the coffee that I get. I absolutely love, love, love Colombian coffee. It's my weakness. It's what I'm always gonna choose. And this PC one is not bad. Plus I get my points for buying anything PC. Then I also got some shampoo. I like the Aussie one and I also picked up the conditioner. I really just needed the shampoo this time because I have just ran out of shampoo. And also I went ahead and got this variety bag of chips for the kids. It's just a great thing for them to have as a snack, especially when they're outside. And that is everything that I got in this quick haul. All right, so we've officially come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.